So there are three types of hair, straight, wavy, and curly. My bad hair day is when it's so just straight and stuck to my scalp that I could but it also gets really greasy. It's like you can fry eggs on it, you can deep fry chips. My bad hair day is like every point is like a cactus. <laughs> I know Mia, she has really coarse, thick, but wavy hair. I literally have two options with my hair. It's either down or up, and that includes washed or unwashed. Pretty much, that's it. So we've compiled a list of 23 tips on how to get healthy, shiny, split and free hair. Exactamento. It doesn't matter what type, what thickness, what length, you can all follow along. Dry shampoo. Dry shampoo is every girl's best friend, especially if you want to extend the fresh, clean hair look feel because a lot of times your hair is still clean, but you just feel oily or greasy or it's flattening because of the extra oils that come from your scalp onto your hair and you want to just get rid of the excess oils. So a little bit of powder, a little bit of dry shampoo will help to absorb the excess oils and give you that sort of like fresh hair feel without actually physically washing your hair and I do say by extending the fresh hair feel doesn't mean that you can just use dry shampoo and not physically wash your hair because trust me after a couple of days of using dry shampoo you would want to wash your hair texturizing spray on the flip side volumizing and texturizing sprays are great for creating waves but usually soak up oil as well because of all the drying alcohol in them we usually reach for texturizing sprays right after we've washed our hair when it's too slippery and too silky to work with but using it also brings us closer to needing to wash the hair because the more product you put on the like nastier it gets so oh yeah, yeah. Always comb your hair from the button up. Starting at the bottom allows you to gently detangle each knot rather than compounding them all toward the bottom and yanking your way through with a comb. Try a diffuser to even out your curl pattern and to create more volume and more body. A diffuser minimizes a lot of the fizz that comes when curly hair is naturally air dried. And all you do is like scrunch it and then you use the diffuser and then it creates like a natural wave if you have really straight hair. So it's good for curly and straight. Satin or a silk pillow. So if you like your hair and your skin, invest in a satin or a silk pillow. It keeps the nutrients that your hair needs, proteins and things like that as well, minerals, vitamins and all that stuff. And you want it to actually be on your hair as opposed to on your pillowcase. Braiding your hair or plaiting your hair before bed. And I feel like putting your hair up in a loose braid, not only does it help actually your hair grow faster, but it prevents any damage as well. If I'm not feeling lazy, I will do this. And sometimes I actually leave it in a bun, but it changes the texture of the hair. If you braid your hair before you go to bed, next morning, your hair will be nice and wavy. Obviously, if you put your hair in a bun, it'll also be a little bit curly or wavy. It depends on how you do it. Sometimes I fall asleep with a bun in my head consume biotin. Biotin is also known as vitamin H. This vitamin promotes the growth of nails and hair and it facilitates skin regeneration. If you aren't getting enough biotin, you may experience a scaly red rash or hair loss. After the shower, let it naturally air dry because drying your hair with a hair dryer will temporarily change the structure of your hair. So also don't dry your hair by rubbing it with the towel because that creates frizz and friction. You just kind of squeeze it. Squeeze, squeeze the water out of it. You want to just let it dry naturally and then that way when it dries you can see if there's waves, you can see if there's curl or it's just stick straight like this. Use plain white vinegar. After you have washed your hair, rinse your hair with white vinegar. Your hair will be brighter and shinier from the first time you try this. So there are two types. You can use the white vinegar but you can also use the apple cider vinegar. Use egg yolk. Wash hair instead of shampoo with egg yolk. This moisturizes the hair better than any commercial beauty product. It does without weakening your hair. It also like makes your hair thicker. Try to use sulfate-free shampoo. Sulfate is one of the most harmful agents out there that strips your hair from its natural moisture. There are actually many sulfate-free shampoos out there, you just have to look. As soon as you start using it, the sooner you'll see the results. Scalp massage. Massage your scalp every day to activate blood circulation in the scalp and it actually encourages hair growth. Gently rubbing your scalp also prevents hair loss and reduces stress. If you guys have ever tried this, it feels so good. Especially when someone else is brushing your hair, it's like the best feeling ever. Use product cocktailing to customize your hair care regimen. 
Product cocktailing is simply mixing two or more products together to meet your specific styling needs. So you can mix different hair oils, or you can mix body oils, or even a conditioner, different types of conditioners together. So I like to actually mix different types of texturizing sprays, like a texturizing spray, and then I also use a sea salt spray, just so it creates more volume and more lift. So yeah, you can always layer different products. Avoid washing hair every day. Frequent washing removes too much oil from your scalp that your hair needs for nutrition and growth. Your sebaceous glands start producing more fat and as a result your hair becomes oilier. So Felicia. Nourish your hair. Nourish your hair regularly with natural oils and conditioners like jojoba, rosemary and apricot seed oils which are one of the best for hair shine and growth. Also argan oil has a lot of beneficial effects on your hair. Use it for split ends and dry scalp or even as a leave-in conditioner. It can also eliminate dandruff, treat hair loss and make your hair shinier and stimulate hair growth. Once in a while apply a conditioning treatment to the ends of your hair. When your hair goes through a dry, dull phase, what you don't want is to weigh it down with a ton of product. Simply use your fingertips to apply a dime-sized blob of styling cream or oil to the ends so it gives that extra moisture and bounce to make your hair look nice and healthy. Never brush wet hair. Brushing wet hair will make it weaker and susceptible to breaking which will cause split ends. Instead, use a wide tooth comb while in the shower after you apply your hair conditioner because the conditioner actually helps to detangle. So if there are like huge knots in your hair, it won't just break it off. Avoid hair dryer. I know this is like my worst nightmare. I really need to blow dry my hair. But what I've learned is that the hair dry, obviously the heat does cause some sort of damage to your hair. However, that goes without saying, in Chinese traditional medicine, we do believe in yin and yang and help keep the heat within your body, especially for women. So it is very crucial to, if you don't want to dry your hair, but you make sure your scalp is dry. You might have heard of this one before, never sleep with wet hair. Dry your hair well before you go to sleep if you don't want to have a bad hair day when you wake up. Wet hair is much more delicate and prone to breaking. So on the times that I do accidentally fall asleep when my hair's wet, in the morning it's like half my head is missing. You know, it's like you sleep in a weird way and you wake up with like a pineapple on your on top of your head. And avoid dying. Try to refrain from dyeing or bleaching your hair because dye contains harsh chemicals such as ammonia which causes damage to the hair and may also cause hair burn. And actually after you dye it or bleach it, it's very hard for the hair to get back to its normal state. I used to bleach and bleach and bleach until it was blonde and it was like you could break the hair like this. It was like cows could eat it. Avocado mask. So all you need is an avocado, one tablespoon of lemon juice, and a quarter spoon of olive oil. Mix it all together, apply and wait for 20 minutes so that it soaks into the hair. Then rinse with warm water until it's all out and use a little bit of shampoo if any of it stays stuck in the hair. Relax and do it. Nothing damages your hair more than stress. No matter how you take care of yourself, if you do not reduce your stress levels, your hair will never be as beautiful as it could be. Whatever is going in your mind, it's affecting every part of your body. So it's not just I mean, the that's hair. why people grow white hair, right? Stress. Bing! White hair. Eat well. Your hair is nourished by everything you eat. So sleeping well, eating well is very, very important. Your diet consists of all the nutrients that goes to different parts of your body and for your hair especially as well. So making sure that you get the right nutrients for the hair will make it grow longer, shinier, stronger and more beautiful. So make sure you really do take care of your hair and if you have damaged it, this is step one in the process to rectifying yourself. Make sure you've subscribed and if you want to see more tips, we have a ton more so leave it in the comments if you want to see more hairstyling videos. If you do try it, let us know how it works in the comments below and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!